what's up everyone hello and welcome back to another video now in today's video i'll be showing you how i made this delicious sweet potato pudding jamaican style so guys let's get started so here are the ingredients i'll be using i have some nutmeg cinnamon and salt i have some vanilla i have some cornmeal and all-purpose flour i have some golden raisin some brown sugar i have my grated sweet potato and of course i have some coconut milk so i went ahead and washed and peeled my potato now guys for the sweet potato if you are not in jamaica you don't want to use the orange skin sweet potato you want to use the purple skin potato and you want to make sure that it's hard and white because if you use the orange skin potato it's not going to turn out right so i've already washed and i'm going to grate this now i'll be using two sides so because i want two texture to my sweet potato so i'll be using the fine side and the medium size but mostly the fine size now you could always put this in your food processor and process it but i'm going i'm going to go ahead and grate it like we always do back home Now that everything is grated i'm going to go ahead and combine it with ingredients so to my coconut milk i'm going to go ahead and add my sugar and as always i will leave everything that i'm using down in the description box so you could go ahead and check it out i'm going to add the vanilla i'm going to give this a good mix to dissolve the sugar I'm going to go ahead and start combining so to the bowl i'm going to add the flour and the cornmeal the cornmeal is just to give a little stability and i'm going to add my spices and the salt because i know how much flour i'm using i'm just going to go ahead whisk this together and add my wet ingredients i'm just going to take out a little bit to reserve to coat my raisins in so they don't sink to the bottom when i add them I'm going to go ahead and whisk this in because I don't want no white lumps of flour in my pudding. So I'm just going to go ahead and whisk this in and then I'm going to add my sweet potato. But it's totally optional. You could do it whichever way you like. And I'm also going to reserve a little bit of the coconut milk mixture to put on top of my pudding. I personally don't like it too wet, but you could go ahead and make it your way. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my potatoes. And guys, if you have reached this far in the video and you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscription button, turn on the post notification bell so you never miss any of my upload. And to my newbies, welcome. And for my oldies, thanks for always being here with me. You have been here with me throughout 2021 and we hope to continue the journey over in 2022. A big thank you to you all. I'm just gonna go ahead and whisk this in now i do not want my sweet potato too loose so i want a nice sturdy texture now i'm gonna go ahead and coat the raisins in the little flour mixture this is to ensure that the raisin doesn't sink to the bottom while baking. Now that my mixture is nice and combined, I'm going to go ahead and transfer this to a baking pan and I'm going to bake this in a 350 degree oven for about an hour and 20 minutes or until it's fully baked. 
now i like to get a good slice so i'm not going to spread this out into two pans i want it to have a nice thick slice i'm going to go ahead and add everything to my baking pan reason being this is not going to rise because it doesn't have an leavening agent in it so if you want to get a nice decent thick slice of pudding you want to go ahead and make sure that you fold the pan up Now into the oven this goes for about an hour and 20 minutes. After one hour I'm going to pull it out and add that last little bit of coconut mixture that I had reserved to go on top. It was about two tablespoons. I don't, as I said before, I don't like it too wet. So this is the amount that I'm adding to mine and I'm going to allow it to finish baking. after hour and 20 minutes this is what my pudding is looking like and it smells so good i'm gonna allow this to cool down a little bit before i cut into it if possible you could let it cool for about eight hours but i didn't wait that long because i wanted to taste it so i did cut into it a little bit still warm and this is what my pudding has been looking like let me tell you guys this was so so good i have a piece of this the next morning with a cup of coffee and trust me it was heaven guys i thank you so much for watching until then i'll see you in my next one